So hello and welcome back to yet another video, a midweek video. It is, uh, th it's been 32 degrees today. It's been a bit of a scorcher. So I'm coming out to get out of the house where it's like an oven, just to get a bit of air, have a spin, just stretch the legs really. And uh, just experience some of this nice weather. Whilst it's still here, there's thunderstorms are forecast tomorrow. Oh, and it's new bike day. So what have you got, I can hear you asking? Well, I've treated myself to a Trek Demane SL5 in Rage Red. Um, I had a look at what bikes were available with the spec I would need uh, to replace the BMC as my winter bike, my go-to wet weather bike. There's not a lot in stock. And what was in stock, uh, you had to wait at least 23 days for. So searching for a bike was uh, a lot of hard work, trying to find one in stock and one that I actually liked. I stumbled across this bike and I absolutely fell in love with it. Tried to find it everywhere and it was out of stock. So I started looking at local bike shops that were Trek dealers and lo and behold, I found it on the website of Pedal Revolution in Norwich, a local bike shop. So I pinged them an email and I asked, have you actually got it in stock in a 52 centimeter? And he said, yes. So a big shout out to Carl and everybody at Pedal Revolution who have helped me get this bike within a couple of days, which is just amazing, really. You're an absolute star, Carl. Thank you ever so much. I absolutely love it. I'm gonna get to show it to you in a minute. I hope you love it too. It is an immense bike, and so far, so good. Feels really brilliant to ride. Oh, and I should point out, I have actually bought the bike. They didn't give it me. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> Maybe when I get a few more thousand subscribers, if we're lucky. Some initial thoughts, disc brakes are really good. Uh, I do like those. Do feel nice and solid and do feel like they're gonna stop you. The gear changes. Um, I don't know if anybody else has got modern Shimano 105 levers, but they seem to go at an angle as opposed to straight left or right like the old ones did. And I like it, I really do like it. It's more, more natural just to give it a flick uh, to go down. And obviously with SRAM ETAP, I've just got a little button and the levers don't actually move. So it's been a while since I've upgraded a group, group set. And I do like this, I must say. Very slick, smooth gears, especially between the big ring and the little ring. Not got the nice wear of the SRAM ETAP, but it is nice and smooth. Yeah, she feels fast. When you put the power down, it's all there. All flies, nice and aero. Next test though, well, it was a bit hot to be bothering. But I think we go up a hill and mostly just around the corner. Mostly hill. Let's see how we can do. See if the, uh, the old granddad gears, the 34, <laughs> need to come into play. So in conclusion, there's nothing wrong with the bike's climbing ability. It was flying up down the bottom. I was nine seconds up on my PB down the bottom. But then I got in the way. And uh, my legs are still wrecked from riding that Carrera on Sunday. They were still hurting yesterday. Uh, they seized up. <laughs> but the 34 gear in the big ring, gotta respect that. Although I have found one flaw with these gears. The gears that I was praising just a minute ago for being absolutely natural. When you run out of gears, the next time you go to drop down a gear, that's the brake. Uh, pretty sharp brake. <laughs> Worth trying to go up a hill. That didn't help. <laughs> and they are very good brakes. Right, so I'm guessing you want to have a proper look at it. You don't want to see me riding around heavy breathing. Um, in my opinions of a bike, obviously I've paid for. <laughs> And I'm obviously going to be very biased, but have a look at it. Pete said, I've got to do some very artsy Francis K shots. I'm not Francis K, but he's my best go. No 
director awards coming this way. Anyway, let's show you the bike. Right, so we have a 34 cassette on it, Shimano 105. So it's a long cage derailleur. We've got some Infinity Bontrager wheels and some Bontrager R1 32C tyres. It does take up to uh, 38C, so you can do a lot of uh, gravel riding. It is an all-road bike, so it's got plenty of clearance, as you can see. And it has this nifty little gadget here. That comes out, and there is a bag in there with all your inner tubes. Save you having a saddlebag. A nice bit, bit of uh, internal storage in the frame. I just decked out my cockpit with my GoPro Hero Session, my Wahoo Bolt, and there are some um, blender stem gadgets that go on there, can make this a little bit neater, which we may or may not get. But uh, these, these are the shifters. So it's more of a, a back um, gear system. I kind of like that, apart from the, when I pulled the front brake. Plenty of clearance for 38C tires on these wheels, which are of course, disc brake. Excuse the sweaty mess, but that is my Trek Demane SL5 in Rage Red. Um, it took me a long time to find, uh, but I am very, very pleased. I was going to say my, my last new bike day was uh, over three years ago when I bought the Canyon. And uh, then I just bought a frame set and I built that bike up with all the bits that I actually wanted on it. And before that was eight years ago with the BMC. Um, but at least it would have been had I not bought a tandem two weeks ago and built that one up. Does that count? <laughs> I don't know. Two new book bike days in two weeks. Might be some kind of record. <laughs> I mean, Tad and Teelan there is not, not the smoothest of road surfaces. This suspension thing really does make a difference. That was uh, a very pleasant, comfortable ride along that bumpy road. It just seems to dampen everything and it does feel really, really comfortable. You could say I'm suitably impressed by the ISO speed. Well done, Trek. Well done. Um, but it wouldn't be a true test of an all road bike without doing a bit of gravel. So we're going to do hand wall, brisk of swallowing a thousand flies. Bit of protein though, but we'll do it. Let's go see what the river's like. Tours in the background, so we're nearly home. Sun is setting, a uh, really good ride, really pleased with that. Um, I'm not quite Jeremy Clarkson, it's not quite that of a, sort of a road test, but uh, I did, did really enjoy riding the bike. And if my wife asks, it costs £350. <laughs> no, she knows it only costs 500 Anyway, if you like this video, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, comment, and I will see you Sunday probably. Um, I've got two weeks leave coming up, so there should be quite a few videos depending on what I'm doing with the family. Um, but yeah, we're Longleat, I think, on Sunday. I think it's me, Pete, Dell. Um, not quite sure yet, but that's the plan. So I will see you very, very soon. Thanks for watching. <laughs>